Um, just Google some clouds. Okay. Come on. Okay, I'm going to copy this image into the image I'm working on. Okay, go to the topmost layer. Let's paste it in. It's not the same size, just size it. Do that with the rest too. Some of these. Make sure we're covering the entire image. Okay, that's good. Okay, here's the clouds. Let's try different blending modes. Use multiply, soft light. Soft light looks best. Okay. Soft light. This one soft light, 80%, soft light 100%, let's try it. You can always move the layer and readjusting the layer and keep the mask stationary, just unclick that link. I usually like to group my my layers. Okay, so is that a mask? Let's paint black. Black paint brush. Oops. Black and white. Actually, no, never mind. Let's just tone it down a little bit. Soft light. Try it. Seventy percent. All right, so I'm kind of improvising on, on this tutorial. So if you have any questions, you just rewind it. Okay. Let's try another one more blank layer. I'm just gonna hit the the D on the keyboard, X, switch to white, hit the G for, for gradient, make sure you select the circular, and select white to transparent, and just click and drag. Okay. So you can create small and bring down the 
capacity, create small little just your opacity. It's too long, this tutorial. I just want to try one more thing. Add some text and a new folder. The, the T on the keyboard. Okay, just um, type whatever you want. I'm gonna try type true vision. Just center it. An easy way to center it: select the entire layer, Control A or Apple A. Click these. Deselect. Apple T. Drag from the corners. And just pick any font you want. your adjustments kerning it Something simple here. Let's try different blending modes. Duplicate it. And rasterize it. Layer type restaurants. Gaussian blur. Blur, Gaussian blur. Duplicate it. Control J. Let's just warp it. Control T or Apple T. Let's warp it a little. Hit OK. Rearrange the layers to see how they look. You can create a mask, apple, and hit the icon. Okay. The mask. Invert it. What you're basically, what I'm basically doing is hiding what's inside. Text. I need disable. 
the map as you can really see. So I just want the outside visible of this layer. That's why I created a mask of, of, of this bottom layer. So whatever is outside visible. See? That'd be kind of cool too. This experiment. Just try one more thing. Just Apple, select the icon, click the topmost text layer, create a layer, new layer. Again the gradient. Letter G. This time the this first gradient option. 100 percent Just drag from the bottom up. And maybe from the top down, shift. We'll blur it a little. Not so much. Just a little bit. Let's try one. And then try another blending mode. There you go. That'll work. Alright, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, mm, just rewind. Rewind and, um, I don't know, slow it down, whatever. Thanks. This is Gabriel Gurola, Gurola Photography, signing off. I'll post, post more tutorials on Facebook or my blog. Thank you.